Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and our Sunday evening blog. Okay, what do we have for you this weekend? Get my pencil out of there. All right. This week we have CNC engraved cribbage table. All right. I told you. Uh, I told you a couple weeks ago as we were doing our our kitchen table. Uh, for my beloved wife, which, again, thank you everyone for all the kind words. Kitchen table came out wonderful. I was really, really pleased with it, but it stemmed another idea. I haven't done any, any cribbage tables in a while, so that was basically where we were going to roll this Sunday evening blog into. I, uh, I build a few of these a year. They generally get commissioned around this time of the year because with the snow getting ready to fall, people enjoy having... You know, cribbage boards, cribbage tables to play in the winter months when there isn't that much to do up here. So I thought it would be interesting to fabricate a table and again share it with all of you. The blog last weekend went a little bit more in depth, okay? There is a lot of history behind the game of cribbage. It dates back to the early 1600s, okay? The blog will go a little bit more into detail on that, but. It, uh, it is there for you all to read. The project in and of itself is going to be very simple to fabricate. We're going to build it kind of, uh, kind of around the idea of, in fact, my kitchen table. It'll be an oval top, two-player track. We're going to opt for quarter-inch holes. I'm not going to go with the eighth-inch holes on the table. It's going to be, uh, to me personally, I think it looked just a little bit ridiculous. So we're going to go with larger pegs. Is we're going to show you step by step in VCarve Pro from here how to go in, how to lay your track out. We've done other cribbage boards before, so basically it's going to almost be the same, except for the fact your peg holes are larger. You're no longer a board, a cribbage board. You're you're a physical table, and we're going to put some type of structure under it. Whether it be a, uh, in this case, we're going to be using wild forage materials, uh, one to keep the cost down. What you see in front of you right here is the actual top itself. Uh, my material here is measuring 36 by 27. I think we're going to do like 32, 34 by no more than uh, 24 in height. Okay. Now this particular piece of material is right now it's showing some unique challenges. I've got three knot holes in it. I mean all the way through the knots fell out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure over from my side and I'm going to measure up from my bottom. I'm going to record these for their location. I'm going to look at them in the program and how they're going to potentially play out when we go to do the engraving. Now if I'm putting a stump or something like that in that's going to have knot holes, one or two of them I might be able to, to do something with. In this case, I may end up just having to backfill them with some type of epoxy and then put a sanding uh, wood putty over the surface and commence with my milling. But we're going to see how they, they look. Uh, like I said, we'll measure over from, uh, from the left hand side and then from the bottom up. We'll get our coordinates and then we'll pull them into the engraving and we'll, we'll show you what we're talking about a little bit better with the uh, with the Camscasia, the screen capture software. All right. Now, as far as the boards themselves go, the types. See, there are different types of cribbage. I thought a cribbage board was a cribbage board. No, not really. Uh, you have a continuous track, uh, and you have what's called a half track. It may be, go by a different name, but a continuous uh, track cribbage board is just that. You start your pegs. You go around the continuous loop, first one to peg out at 120 points wins. You could be with a half track, which is something, and I don't have any boards up here, unfortunately, but it could be just a plain, simple, rectangular two-player board, and it's got 30 holes on each side, or I'm sorry, uh, two tracks of 30 holes. So you'd have to go up and back twice to complete the 120 uh, holes to win the game. Flat boards. Uh, hinge boards. Now a hinge board can, uh, much like a flat board, it can be continuous or it can be a half track. However, with a hinge board, you generally have a hollow pocket on the bottom so that when you open it up, you can store your pegs and your cards underneath. There is the travel board. These are small little 
bring in the car, bring in your carry-on, play them on the plane, play them at the, uh, maybe at the airport as you're waiting for your flight. It would be a very simple fold-up, very portable, enough for two, two people, deck of cards, four pegs, you're good to go. Okay, but in fact, what we're going to be discussing are tables. We are going to be building an electrical or an oval uh, cribbage table. The designs, oh my goodness, the designs, there are as many designs out there as there probably are cribbage players. Uh, square board, or perfectly round board or table, uh, oblong, ob round, uh, square with radius internal, external corners. Consider the top of your, your cribbage board or your cribbage table no different than any sign you're going to go out and invent or make, except you're going to put tracks with holes in it, okay? Now, the nice thing I like about cribbage, it's a minimal investment. Now, because of the equipment that we own, yes, we can go out and we can create things that a lot of others cannot, okay? But nonetheless, you yourself can create that one-of-a-kind anything in your own shop that most anybody else is never going to have the opportunity to own, let alone even sit at or play, because of what we have, okay? So, I want everybody to stay tuned, please. we got VCarve Pro coming up. We're going to put this in as, again, we're going to make an elliptical or an oval. I'm going to do a two-player track, strictly for two players. I'm going to probably figure this in for some type of storage underneath the underside of the table uh, to hold your cards and we're gonna we're gonna walk you through how to make your own pegs the whole nine yards okay so everybody please stay tuned there's more to come we're gonna start you out with the V Carve Pro next and as far as the engraving goes for me anyways it's gonna be a simple animal there is a deadline on this table this is gonna be a this is one of the few that I'm going to be making, but I'm donating this to the young people in my community for them to auction or raffle off to, to raise money for their high school graduation. So I'm pretty flattered to, to have been asked to have done that in the first place. But without further ado, you folks hang on. We'll be right back, and we're going to walk you through step by step, okay? All right, we'll be right back.